Hello, my name is Alex Darm. I'm editor of International Cranes and Specialized Transport magazine. I'm here at the ConExpo 2014 show in Las Vegas, USA. And I'm on the Manitowoc stand with John Kennedy. And he's in charge of crawler cranes worldwide. I'm going to talk to John about the MLC 650, which is a new 650 tonne class crawler crane from Manitowoc. John, tell me about the new MLC 650. Well, the model MLC 650, 650 metric ton crawler crane, is the newest model from Manitowoc. Uh, what this model does is it leverages the VPC technology we pioneered on the 31,000. This is technology that moves the counterweight uh, in, in relation to either the boom angle and or the boom angle and load. And what are the primary sales features of this machine? Well, let me talk, talk about the VPC a little bit. Basically, what the VPC does is it takes the dumbest thing on the crane, which is the counterweight, and it makes it smart by moving the counterweight to where it most efficiently uh, balances the load. What this does is it frees our engineers up to do a few things. Say, versus a crane with a, a typical footprint and a typical counterweight arrangement, it allows us to either a, reduce the total amount of counterweight by putting it all in one location and moving it. B, reduce the size of the footprint that the crane sits on. Or C, leave both of those about the same and greatly increase the capacity of the crane. So with the 650, what we've done mostly is we've reduced the footprint relative to a similar size machine, say the 18,000 and we've reduced the counterweight significantly compared to that machine, and yet still achieve relatively the same uh, capacities for that, uh, for the 650 versus the 18,000. Um, in addition to the VPC, which is the standard lift crane uh, uh, technology that you see behind us, we also have a VPC Max, which is a lift enhancing device similar to our Maxers. Uh, what it does is it introduces a fixed mass to the crane as well as another uh, set of uh, actuators, uh, rack and pinion and pinion drives for the crane and additional counterweight for the crane. And then what it does is it allows that additional counterweight to shoot out much further back uh, beyond the tail swing of the standard crane, thus achieving similar capacities to our maxer capacities. But never touching the ground, this is significant. The only thing to touch the ground on this crane in any configuration are the crawlers themselves. Okay, some of the additional features on the 650, it features uh, Crane Star, which we now uh, include with all of our Manitowoc product. Additionally, it has the new Cummins QSX15 600 horsepower tier four final engine. The other, uh, Outstanding feature on this, uh, when combined with uh, for fleet owners, is that it uses one counterweight part number, and it's a common counterweight to the MLC 300, which we'll be talking about shortly. So what you have is is all of the counterweight on both cranes are put in the same spot, and it's one counterweight part number. Uh, this would be as opposed to car body counterweight, upper counterweight, and then max or wagon counterweight on a typical crane. So that again is a big feature. In addition, it has outstanding utilization of the boom, com boom components. For instance, we use the heavy sections of the luffing jib as a vessel uh, jib, a uh, heavy lift vessel jib. Uh, we also use uh, luffing jib sections in com combination with the standard boom to uh, support our wind extended point. And so again, very good utilization on the boom components on the 650. One last one would be that both, both units have a, an auxiliary power unit or an APU designed in. This is a removable unit that will be common to both units to allow the main diesels to be shut down when not uh, required. The APU will do such things as cold weather start. It'll keep the cab either cool or warm. And it will also uh, power boom lights if the crane is equipped that way. Again, the APU is common to both the MLC 300 and the MLC 650. And tell me about the main benefits for customers. So with the, uh, with the VPC Max, uh, it does a couple of things. Again, it has a reduced footprint. That helps us in a couple of ways. It helps us uh, 
uh, in job site maneuverability and ground prep. Of course, you no longer have to prep a large area for the wagon to roll on. Uh, the other thing it does is it gives you increased job site mobility. So when the tail, when the counterweight is scoped all the way in, it allows you to maneuver into tight areas within uh, industrial plants or power plants, et cetera, and thereby uh, greatly en enhancing the mobility of the crane. Uh, the other thing that benefits is, is typically uh, you'll get reduced ground bearing pressure in a lot of instances with uh, when lifting the crane, but more importantly, you get greatly reduce ground bearing pressures when uh, erecting the crane and oftentimes ground bearing pressure is uh, is a biggest concern when you don't have a load on the hook. Say when you've got a max or wagon on the ground, that tire pressure uh, oftentimes is, is the key concern with the crane. Here you, you, you do not have that situation and so you have a, uh, a great impact on ground bearing pressure as well. Who are the target customers? and? What countries and industries will you sell this machine into? Target customers are um, much the same as, as uh, some of our other big cranes. We have power plants, refineries. Uh, this this crane will have a, uh, it, it will have a wind uh, application that will be best in class, both for 100 meter towers without the lift enhancing device, and then larger towers when you go to the lift enhancing device. Uh, in addition, there will be uh, dockside and general contractors. As you see behind me, we have uh, uh, Kiewit has purchased the crane on the stand today and again, a very well-known contractor here in North America, one of the largest in, in North America. How's the crane better than competing products or a model it replaces? So again, w w the, the things that it'll excel in will be less, uh, less ground uh, prep overall required better capacities, better mobility, and better productivity. Our hoist drums and the line speeds are known to have uh, great uh, productivity over our competition and this crane will be no different. Great, thanks very much John. Okay.